In this video, we can discuss about microbiology of virus. It's an important topic of third semester B farm pharmaceutical microbiology. In this, we have to discuss about the structure of virus, classification of virus, bacteriophage, cultivation of virus, replication or virus host interaction. Before going to the structure, we can discuss some general properties of virus. Virus are the smallest and simplest infectious agents, which are smaller than the simple acellular organization. Usually size will range from 10 micrometer like in food and mouth viruses to about 250 micrometer like in vaccina virus. And coming to the genetic material in the virus, virus have either DNA or RNA. It should not contain in both of the genetic material. And the genetic material may be single standard or double standard. Another important point to be remembered that most of the virus are insensitive to antibiotics. We cannot treat the virus with antibiotic drugs. We have to use antiviral drugs to kill the viruses or to prevent the infections from the viruses. Virus differ from other living organism with the following ways. First one is viruses are obligative intracellular parasite. What is mean by that? Virus can't live in the environment other than any host cells. It required an host cell for their surveillance. They cannot live in the normal atmosphere conditions like in water or decaying material or anything. It needs some host cell. And it do not reproduce by binary fission. That is the inability to reproduce independent of the host cell, virus must invade host cell for their replication. They lack the genes and enzyme necessary for the energy production. For the reproduction of virus, they will depend the ribosome, enzyme and metabolites of host cell for the protein and nucleic acid production. So these are the main difference of virus from other microorganism. Other properties are most of the viruses consist merely of nucleic acids surrounded by a protein coat which is known as capsid and this virus can be visible only under electron microscope and each virus have a fixed morphology it may be either helical or polyhedral or spherical or complex structure and Virus can exist in two phases, either in extracellular phases, which is known as virions and uh, which have a size range from 20 to 300 nanometer or as an intracellular phase virus, which will exist as a replicating nucleic acid. This extracellular phase of virus is known as virions. These are the smallest non-infectious agent and they do not possess protein coating. They contain circular single standard RNA or linear single standard RNA containing 270 to 380 nucleotides. They are not capable of coding for any proteins of their own and virions depends the host cell for their replication. And intracellular phase of virus is known as prions. These are proteinaceous infectious particles and protein is only detectable compound in the prions. They do not have any nucleic acid. They reproduce with the help of host cells and they can cause the different neurological diseases like Creutzfeldt Jakob disease and Alzheimer's disease. Now coming to the morphology of virus or structure of virus. Virus consists of a central core of nucleic acid this is the genome or set of gene of virus which may consist DNA or RNA but not both of them as we mentioned before and the 
central core is surrounded by a protein coat which is known as capsid that is the second part of virus it is a protein shell or coat that encloses the nucleic acid genome protein units of capsid is known as protomere and when protomere will form a cluster it is known as capsomere which is the basic structural unit of capsid so if the capsid and nucleic acid combine it is known as nucleocapsid so the basic unit is protomere when protomere combine together to form a cluster it will be known as capsomere and the capsomere joint to form an any geometrical structure it is known as capsid when capsid combine with the nucleic acid it is known as nucleocapsids this is the structure of an conventional virus it have a central core of nucleic acid and it is uh, surrounded by a protein coat so virus can be either naked virus or enveloped virus based on a lipoprotein envelope present around the nucleocapsid the virus with the lipoprotein envelope is known as enveloped virus and without that lipoprotein envelope virus is known as naked virus so this enveloped virus have an lipoprotein membrane which uh, have a rapidly projecting spikes around the lipoprotein envelope so that is the third part of virus envelope it is a lipid bilayer membrane surrounding the nu nucleocapsid of some viruses this is usually soluble in organic solvent and the virus that have covering is sensitive to either an alcohol the envelope carry glycoprotein which are seen as projections of spike then viruses with having this envelope is known as enveloped virus and viruses not having envelope is known as naked virus now these are the major components of virus other than we discussed in the morphology some enzymes like polymerase and reverse transcriptase then phospholipids glycoprotein neutral fats fatty acid aldehyde and cholesterols now as we mentioned before when capsomere is arranged in the three dimensional structure to form a geometrical shape based on the shape of this capsid the virus may have different type of symmetries like helical symmetry icosahedral symmetry and complex symmetry the first one is helical symmetry in this helical capsid are shaped like an hollow tubes with protein wall and the capsomere are arranged helically around the hollow core containing spiral coil of nucleic acid and the helical virus appear to be rod in low resolution microscope and it can be observed as the helical symmetry in electron microscope example for virus which show helical symmetry is influenza virus so this is the structure of an helical symmetry virus in this the central core is arranged like an hollow helical tube around that the capsomere is arranged so that is the helical symmetry now coming to the second symmetry that is icosahedral symmetry the special form of cubic symmetry in which subunits of capsomere are arranged at the edge or over the surface of an icosahedron icosahedron is an polygon with 20 faces and 30 edges and 12 vertices and each face is an equilateral triangle each face of an icosahedron is an equilateral triangle and every vertex of icosahedron is formed by five triangular faces so this is the vertex it is formed by five equilateral triangles and the icosahedral symmetry will appear as spherical in low resolution microscope and examples of virus which show icosahedral symmetries are poliomyelitis virus and adenovirus so this will be the structure of icosahedral symmetry viruses in low resolution microscope example is tomato bushy stand virus now coming to the third symmetry that is the complex symmetry in this sub unit arrangement is less easy to distinguish because of relative advanced structure of virus have capsid symmetry in which neither helical or icosahedral and they may possess 
tiles like in bacteriophages and may have complex multi-layered walls like in poxovirus and they may be large viruses like vaccina virus and bacteriophage are this type of complex viruses. So these are the different symmetry which are formed by the capsomere of different viruses. This is a structure of complex virus. This is an uh, back structure of bacteriophage which have an icosahedral symmetrical head and have an helical sheet and uh, there is a collar and core and here uh, there is a base plate with uh, tail pinks and hexagonal uh, base plate and tail. Now we can discuss the bacteriophage in detail. It is a complex virus. Don't confuse with any bacteria even though it have a name on bacteriophage. These are the viruses that will parasite on the bacteria. The host cell of this complex virus is bacteria. That's why it is known as bacteriophage. They are highly specific on attack. Only a single bacterial species or even a particular strain of species will be uh, selected for the attack of bacteriophage. Bacteriophage means bacteria eater and it is discovered by Frederick W. Tort and Felix D. Herley. The term bacteriophage was coined by D. Herley. Now coming to the morphology and chemical composition of bacteriophage. Under the electron microscope, most of the phages resembles like tadpole, which having a well-defined head and tail portion. The head containing nucleic acid core, either single standard or double standard DNA or RNA, not, not both of them. Surrounded by a protein coat made up of subunit like capsid of viruses. There are three basic morphology forms of bacteriophage Ecosahedral head with no tail, Ecosahedral head with tail, and filamentous bacteriophages. The second part of bacteriophage is tile. The tile may be flexible or rigid. The phage tile may be very short or up to four times the length of head. In T2 phages of E. coli, the tile has a sheath composed of protein subunit. They have a complex base plate. They consist 1 to 6 tile fibers. This is the structure of a bacteriophage. This is an icosahedral head and there is a helical sheet with, uh, which is composed of protein coat and there is an hexagonal base plate and tile pinks and tile fibers. Now coming to the classification of virus. Virus is mainly classified into plant viruses and animal viruses. Animal and plant viruses is again divided into single standard DNA virus, double standard DNA virus, single standard RNA virus and double standard RNA virus. DNA virus is again divided to double standard and single standard viruses. The double standard viruses again divided into enveloped virus and non-enveloped viruses. Example for enveloped viruses are hepatitis viruses, herpes viruses and pox viruses. Example for unenveloped double standard DNA viruses are adenoviruses, papilloma viruses, polioma viruses. Example for unenveloped single standard DNA viruses is parvoviruses. Now, RNA viruses is again divided into enveloped and unenveloped viruses. Unenveloped RNA viruses are calci viruses and picoma viruses. Enveloped viruses are coronaviruses, flaviviruses and toka viruses. And uh, negative RNA enveloped viruses are arena viruses, bunia viruses, filoviruses, orthomoxiviruses. Paramyxoviruses and radioviruses and plus or minus RNA double capsid viruses is rheovirus and plus RNA or DNA enveloped viruses is retroviruses. These are some examples of DNA viruses, poxiviruses which is a double standard DNA enveloped viruses, areola viruses will cause a disease known as smallpox. Vaccinia virus will cause vaccinia. Molosco contagious virus will cause molosco contagiosum. 
and another DNA virus is herpes virus it is a double standard DNA enveloped virus it have many viruses like uh, simplex viruses which will cause skin lesion varicella zoster viruses which will cause chicken box and herpes zoster and next one is adenoviruses it's an dn double standard dna non enveloped viruses it will cause sore throat and conjunctivitis now example for rna viruses are trichoma viruses and ortho mixo viruses para mixo viruses tago viruses flavi virus and bunivia viruses which will cause different diseases and these are the different viruses so that is all about the properties morphology symmetry bacteriophage and the classification of viruses hope it is clear thank you for watching this video